When Bebe was born, he weighed 113 grams and was about the size of a stick of butter. What a difference a year makes. Happy birthday. They look like a stuffed animal that you just want to hug and take home with you. He's very investigative right now. He's starting to test his boundaries, um, becoming a little bit more independent. And that independence on full display during a traditional Chinese baby ceremony. Objects are presented, each one set to predict its future. In this case, they're posters with symbols representing long life, health and habitat, and luck and friendship. Even the lure of honey couldn't get Bebe to get close. His mom, Mei Shang, ended up choosing luck and friendship for him. I think Bebe's told us one thing, his family is very important because he needed his mom. <laughs> and I think that says uh, Americans, Chinese, realize family is important and friendships are important. And it's our friendship that will cause us to be successful for future generations. Mom had to step in once again when Bebe's 100-pound birthday cake with tears of frozen juice, scrumptious fruit and vegetables was brought out. Just like a baby, Bebe slept through the whole thing. This wasn't just a birthday celebration for Bebe, but also for his older sister, Bao Bao, and their father, Tian Tian. Missing was Bebe's twin, who died four days after birth. It was only the third time twin giant panda cubs have been born in the U.S. I think it promotes and enhances friendship between our two people. And it's also a good example of a bilateral collaboration in saving the wild species. Pandas just, once they get in your heart, they don't leave. Kathy Roglitz traveled more than 500 miles just to see Bebe. He doesn't have any idea how much joy he's bringing, uh, you know, to everybody. And I hope that he continues to do that. He has an effect on people that, you know, he would never know. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.